for those who missed my lecture on the octopus Thursday before last, let me introduce myself. My name is Ken Thomas, and I am a parapolitical researcher and writer. In the parlance of mainstream America, I am a conspiracy theorist. I publish a magazine, Steam Shovel Press, that has the motto, All Conspiracy, No Theory. I also have in print about a dozen books on various conspiracy topics, including one with this title. I regard the Mari Island book as a sort of prequel to the events of another one of my books entitled The Octopus. I covered that in the last lecture, but don't think it's a prerequisite for understanding what I am talking about tonight. That's uh, from Parapolitics, Conspiracy in Contemporary America by Ken Thomas. Um, which is a collection of uh, some of his uh, lectures, talks, uh, and writings on various uh, topics. Uh, very good, very good read. Uh, Ken Thomas, great researcher. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. And uh, of course, uh, by now you all know that uh, the House passed the uh, Pelosi health care bill. Uh, it was a very close vote, but everybody thought it would be. Um, and uh, that's extremely disappointing because, as Dennis Kucinich rightly noted, the health care bill that has been put forward by the House is, in fact, a bailout for the insurance industry. This is something that I talked about before, and that's something that he mentioned uh, on the floor of the House. And... Uh, on principle, he voted against it, which I'm glad he did. Too bad there aren't more fucking people in Congress who have one fucking iota of principle. Because if one were to look at the vast provisions of the plan that has been put forward, you would see that the great weight and burden of this new thing falls on individuals and families. And the great largesse, the reward, if you will, goes towards the private health insurance industry. And the so-called public option is limited and hampered right out of the gate. And if you imagine when this bill eventually goes through the Senate and does all the other machinations that it has to do in order to come up with some sort of fucking twisted compromise fuck job, then you can imagine that that public option, as weak and ineffective as it is in this bill, will be practically stripped to fucking nothing or will be rendered so fucking expensive that you will have no choice but to buy a private insurance policy from a private insurance company, thereby letting them take your fucking money and invest it into stupid and fucking risky schemes like credit default swaps and derivatives because there's no fucking distinction between insurance companies, banks, and other financial fucking institutions in this country because Glass-Steagall was destroyed and because there is no accountability and no fucking oversight of anything that goes on in this fucking country because the entire country is fucking ruled and totally fucking manipulated by corporations. And this latest fucking travesty that is passed by the House is just another example of what the federal government will do in order to make sure that certain corporations are able to stay in business by, in effect, robbing us right out of our own fucking pockets. Now, as angry as it makes me that this has happened, I still have a glimmer of fucking hope. A glimmer of a chance if people will just say fucking no. If enough people force them to realize that their plans and their agenda does not conform to what we want, 
they will have no choice but to either ram it down our throats, at which point we have every right to defend ourselves, or they will be forced to fucking capitulate. And the corporations are where we should put our fucking wrath because they're the ones that are calling the shots. Oh, absolutely. You stay on your fucking senators and your rep representatives' fucking asses and make sure they hear every fucking word you have to say to them. But at the same time, realize that they're puppets on a fucking string to their corporate masters. And this health care reform fucking sham is just another blatant, in-your-face fucking demonstration of that fact. And don't lose sight of it. So all of these big insurance companies that are going to be doling out all of these policies, that they're immediately going to raise their rates 25% to take advantage of the 125% average bullshit blah 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 crap from this fucking bill. Maybe, just maybe, we can all find a way to get around it. Or to fight it. Or to go after them. Maybe we should start a campaign of harassment against the health insurance industry by trying to get coverage for ridiculous and unneeded services, for um, trying to get your doctor to prescribe uh, tremendous numbers of drugs and various other things for non-existent conditions that you have. Make up fucking symptoms. Don't use the fucking drugs. Just get them to prescribe it so they have to pay out more and fucking uh, benefits to you since they have to cover you. Go to the doctor for every small fucking thing that you have wrong with you. Get a cut, go, go to the emergency room. Do everything you can to make them pay through the fucking nose if you have no other fucking choice. They make you get coverage, goddammit. Use every fucking bit of it and make them pay out the fucking ass to cover you. And remember, with this great and wonderful legislation, they can't not cover you. They have to cover you. Well, of course, they're going to keep raising your rates. And that's another good incentive for you to go to the fucking doctor, go to the hospital, and go to the emergency room every chance you have. Sprain your ankle, emergency room. Bloody nose, emergency room. That's one way to fight it. I'm sure there'll be others that come to light as time goes on. But of course, remain focused on the Senate now to tell them to shove this fucking travesty as far up their collective fucking asses as they can. So that it can never fucking be retrieved or see the light of day again. And then, let's do a little bit of research into the healthcare industry the health insurance giants and find whatever ways we can to make them pay and pay and fucking pay because if they're going to be mandated to cover us we might as well make them fucking pay for it thank you good night